I'm at European Astrofest 2025 and I'm at the Prima Luca Lab stand and with me I have Filippo. And, hi Morgan. Uh, hi, thanks a lot for uh, taking the time to take a chat with me. We're going to talk about the Eagle, yeah. which is I think probably your, your main products, did you say? Yeah, yeah. and so, we just launched the new version of the Eagle, the Eagle 6. Okay, yeah. So first of all, thank you for talking with us and we are so happy to be here. Mm -hmm. And this is the first exhibition where we really show the Eagle because we just launched that last week. Okay, yeah. And so this is really the sixth generation of the Eagle that we presented 10 years ago. And the Eagle is a simple idea to move the computer from your laptop outside of your telescope to your telescope yeah, to yeah. simplify things, to simplify remote control of telescopes. And essentially the idea was born because we are astrophotographers from where we were 16, so 30 years ago. <laughs> and essentially uh, me and Omar, uh, that is the Prima Luce Lab head designer, were moving all around with telescopes. And uh, we went one night on the mountains, on the Dolomites, mm -hmm. and we had a big telescope with two computers to run everything two big batteries and it was crazy. The car was full, okay? Yeah. We went on top of the Dolomite, 2.5 hours of car driving. We arrived there, we prepared everything and we forgot the cable at home. Oh. That's it, yeah. finished. We had to close everything, come back to the car and come back home. And by driving back to, to, to home, I said to Omar, can we do something better? And this is how the Eagle idea came in 10 years ago. The Eagle is like a Windows computer where you can yeah. install any software, any device. There is no limitation. Yes, yeah, so there's a full on, full blown Windows machine. It's like a Windows computer. Yeah. It's not a mini PC. No. It's not a Raspberry Pi device. It's a real Windows computer, yeah. but with the form factor that we specifically developed for telescope, like this telescope is powered by the Eagle. Mm -hmm. So you can connect the Eagle directly on the telescope. You see that the, the case has a lot of uh, threaded holes. holes. Yeah. So on top, on the bottom, you can install above the telescope, beneath the telescope, where you prefer, essentially. Yeah. And this became the central hub of your telescope because you can connect up to 10 USB devices. It has seven power outputs, 12 volts and the voltage regulated. So you can connect the new heater without the need of external controller. You can connect the mount, the camera, all your devices. And the great thing of this idea is that essentially, since this moves together with your telescope, when the telescope moves, yeah, you no, have... No cables get snagged. There you go. Yeah. No just, disconnection, no just, snagging. Just power. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. So you have one power in connector. Mm -hmm. It can go to your battery, yeah. battery to the Eagle, and then the Eagle distributes everything. But still, it's a Windows computer because we know I'm a Mac user. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a Windows user in reality, but we know that for astrophotography, yeah. when you buy a new device, a new camera, a new mount, a new accessory, you always have Windows driver and Windows software. Yeah. So, for example, I'm a Mac user, so I use my Mac to remotely control my Eagle, but I use my Eagle as a hub to control devices and download pictures. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But it's not just hardware, right? You also run your own software on it. Oh yeah, because yeah. the Eagle, when you connect to the Eagle, you see the Eagle Manager X interface, mm -hmm. that is the software for the Eagle that allows you to control all your devices, set connectivity, check sensors like GPS sensor, eye sensor to monitor sky darkness, uh, inclinometer, motion detector, all the Eagle specific feature that are available. And then on top of that, you have a fully Windows machine that allows you to install your own software. You yeah. can install Nina, Sequence Generator Pro, you name it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any software you want to use, Windows based, you can install in the Eagle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And as far as I understand, you can also connect it up to if you want to control a dome or weather control. Um, Absolutely. And UPS, I even seen you support. Oh, yeah, so yeah. If you have a power outage, it can automatically return your dome, close, the dome, the close dome. everything down. Absolutely. If it detects rain, if whatever. 
is yep. to just close down and protect your gear? Absolutely. And these are part of the feature that we added to the new generation Eagle 6. Yeah. So the difference this year is essentially that not only we upgraded the computer by adding the latest generation processors, by upgrading Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi 6E 3-band, but we also added the new feature specifically developed for observatory control. Yeah. Like the light out, out, lights out management is a port that seems like an Ethernet port, yeah. but instead you connect to this and then you have access to the Eagle port, sensor and every data through a interface that you control from your external computer, but that bypass the operative system. So okay. what happens if Windows crashes? Yeah, if yeah. you want to remotely turn on the Eagle without pressing a button, or if you just want to monitor what's going on independently from the connection, you have a way in order to yeah, yeah, yeah. connect and control your eagle. And the same thing happened to the new ports that we have on the other side. So we have the control in and control out ports. We call these observatory actions. So these ports are designed to allow you to connect eagle to external devices like domotics like weather stations that may trigger particular actions that you can decide in the Eagle Manager. For example, you can remotely through your smartphone, through the internet, power on the Eagle. Or you can connect the Eagle through to a weather station that may trigger an action like close or remove power yeah. when something happens, like rain, then shut down. So it's really intended to, if you have a remote observatory somewhere, you put in the Eagle, you get the power up, and then once everything's configured, you, you can, can sit home in your, there your, you go. in your comfy living room, watch Netflix and, uh, and take all your assets. There you go, there yeah. you go. This is it. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for, uh, for introducing it, and um, good luck with the rest of the expo. Thank you very much. Thank yep. you. Thank you.